Hi there, Marco Boy here. I'm in uh, Sandon, BC, which is somewhere between Caslo and New Denver in southern BC. Beautiful countryside here. And uh, in one of the most, what for me is one of the most fascinating uh, kinds of places. It's a sort of a ghost town, historic mining town. And I'm leaning against the oldest continually operating hydroelectric power plant in Canada. Uh, started in its present form in about 1916, I believe, certainly about a hundred years ago, and operating to this day. Incredible place. Uh, when mining uh, was uh, active here, the plant generated compressed air uh, and electricity through hydroelectric, hydroelectric power uh, for the mines. One of the features of this place, uh, and I'll show you as the video continues, is that from time to time, it would be washed out by terrific floods. And uh, they, they, the people who lived here got, sort of got used to that. Uh, but there were some notable uh, occurrences. And uh, if you read uh, downstairs here uh, later, I'll post the specific dates and time. It's very, very interesting. But uh, enjoy the tour with me. One thing there's no shortage of around here is water and the water for the generating station is collected about two miles up in the hills, goes into a, a, a wooden pipe about 18 inches in diameter and then for the last few hundred feet into a steel pipe where the pressure is the greatest and then into the generating station. And for the last little while, the station has run at only about 25% capacity while the old wooden pipe is reinforced or replaced. Uh, something like a million dollars is going to be spent by the power company here and then the generator will be back up to full strength and feeding into the North American grid. Tons of stuff around here, uh, some of which I don't even know what they were for, but uh, no, like this one, I just have a sort of transmission piece with brake pads attached to it. We've got uh, air compressors and power hammers and uh, excavator bits and pieces. Some sort of old excavator part. I'm speculating here. And there's a large boiler. And there the, uh, as an old boiler taken apart, a vertical boiler, I believe, with the fire tubes all exposed. Not much good for anything these days, but very interesting nonetheless. An old rail truck out of the mine, uh, riveted, uh, corroded, but looks like it uh, was only used yesterday. Old winches, uh, still with the rope, I'd love to have one of these. Uh, this one is a, a winch that's powered by uh, two uh, air engines. Could equally well have been operated on steam, but you don't want that down the mine. Uh, looks like a water tank uh, right here. And over here, this looks to me like an old uh, ball mill, where they would have steel balls inside used for crushing ore. I may be wrong. If you know what it is exactly, let me know. This is, a, this is a Pelton wheel. Here we've got what looks to me like an old Pelton wheel used for generating uh, power um, with uh, hydropower. Very efficient, very powerful. And other parts of the old ball mill, a little bit of the transmission. Uh, down here, uh, this is a, an air-powered rock drill. Just a terrific open-air museum for all you enthusiasts. We've got a, an old blower here, presumably used to ventilate the uh, mine shafts. Want to get the old air down in the mine shaft there. And we've got more rail trucks. This one looks like it tips backwards. This one here looks like it tips off to the side. I'm sure these are the survivors of, of many such items lying around here. Now I'm not sure of the names for all of these things, but what seems to have been happening here is they've been bringing ore out of the mine, dumping it into the box here, and then filling rail cars or trucks or something, who knows what. And uh, 
of bits and pieces here of uh, held together with nuts and bolts and old rail lines. Tons of this everywhere. <laughs> Lots of things to explore here. If you look up into the hills, uh, way up, there's uh, mine tailing and uh, wooden trestles, which obviously there's some kind of mining operation going on. I'd love to come back and explore the hills around here. There's, there's so much to see. Standing in front of a beautifully preserved building, quite surprising considering what went on here. We're a little off season, which is good because there's nobody around, it's nice and quiet. But if you come back in the summer, they'll be open, you can take a look around. I think it'd be a great thing to do. So here's an old air powered locomotive for working in the mines. Maximum operating pressure, about 800 pounds per square inch. Don't want any open flame or combustion, internal combustion, down the mine. Early 1900s steam locomotive, never to run again, uh, I suspect. Uh, with a freight train hooked up to the back. We've got some buses down here. We've got trucks. There's all sorts of things here. Something for everybody. It's starting to pour with rain, so we have to go. Thanks very much for joining us looking around Sandon. Thanks very much to Jane or B for her video. And how about if you subscribe to my channel, Marco Boy? Uh, you'll click on the end there, and uh, next time I post a video, YouTube will send you a cute little email. <laughs>